involved in the budgeting process. It has to, as the company gets larger and larger, it has to be more decentralized. A lot of the information is going to have to go from the bottom up because the people in the departments are the people that have the information necessary to make the budget or put the budget together. So the larger the company is, the more we're going to have to be dependent on the segments, the management of each department, the uh, regional managers to go in and say, okay, we're going to piece this thing up from the bottom up. We're going to get the budget uh, information. Then we're going to put it together by region possibly. And then we'll uh, take a look at it from, from a holistic type of standpoint. So from a logistics standpoint, then uh, as the company gets larger, then you're going to have different segments and you're going to have to put things up by segment just from a logistics type of standpoint. It's also important that we want to have the communication because remember that the communication is one of the big keys of the budget. So when we consider the communication process, rather than thinking of it, this would be the way that we kind of build the budget from the bottom up as we take the information from the departments to possibly regions to possibly top management. But the budgeting process, we want to think of it as kind of an even type of process here. So obviously the indecision is going to be made by the top management, but a lot of the information is going to be made by the departments. And what we need is communication back and forth. So although the, the indecision is going to be made by the top management, we need the communication to be going back and forth. And the people that are directing the budget committee then aren't really there to make their end goal in the budgeting process when we go through the budgeting process isn't really to be the one to say, hey, this is it, this is the actual decision or to be the one that really knows everything so that they can basically make uh, the ultimate decision necessarily within the budgeting process. The important piece is the process. We need someone to manage and direct the process. So we have a lot of people involved here. The main goal is to put a process together that everybody feels invested in the process. Everybody feels that the process is geared towards the full benefit of the company. And everybody feels that they have been heard within the process and don't have any fear of putting the information into the process for it to be considered with the objective of the end result, the best result for the company in general. If people feel comfortable with the process, if they think that the process is fair, is justified, then they're typically going to be good with the outcome. So that means that when you consider the, the process of the budget committee meeting, the what has to happen in terms of running it is for it to be ran in such a way that everybody feels that the process is fair, the process is good, they had the contribution. And then once the decision has been made, then the communication could then happen and the decision making process then stops then because now the decision has been made. Hopefully everybody feels good about the process. It then can be communicated clearly by management at that point that, hey, the decision has been made. We've addressed everything that we can. Uh, anybody that had a dissenting opinion, hopefully we've addressed that uh, dissenting opinion. Decisions made now. Now we communicate the implementation of the budget process of the plan that everybody has had feedback in and has implemented their information on. And at that point in time, it's the communication of the plan, not the communication on how to put the plan together.